but I'm going to start talking about our installation offerings, uh, commercial through to premium level CDD, uh, and we're going to start talking about Adorn. Now, Adorn is a new marketplace for Master Audio into the commercial space. It's an area we've not particularly focused on before, but we wanted to bring um, some Master Audio quality and focus on sound uh, through to a much wider marketplace, and hence the Adorn range was born. Everything from cafes through to bars, restaurants, uh, transportation terminals, educational audio visual applications, uh, corporate boardrooms, that kind of application. Uh, taking audio quality a step above the general market of commercial loudspeakers, but keeping the price point very competitive. There's a complete range of products, wall mounted ceiling and our first ever pendant loudspeakers. Now, a key thing with the Adorn series is retaining that Martin audio voicing. So all of these loudspeakers can form part of a larger installation. So, for example, Adorn may be the right solution for the cafe bar and the lobby. Uh, then you can move on through to Blackline or CDD or even the arrays in the auditoriums in one space. So an entire building can be fitted out with Martin audio from top to toe. Looking at the ease in ceiling products to start with, there's three models that use either a four inch or five and a quarter inch low frequency driver uh, with a range of different um, back can depths. Um, you can see they all have the same styling, very low profile, very smart um, grills. Now the speakers behind them, they're bayonet fit, so they're easy to fit into the ceiling and get the grill on front. Now, crucially, the 70 and 100 volt line taps or switch to low impedance is accessible from the front baffle of the loudspeaker. You can just about see one round about here on this baffle of the ACS 55. So you can get your tappings right and balance your system properly once the speakers are in place and then fit the grills. You don't have to take them out of the ceiling to change the loudspeaker taps. They're packed with ceiling bridges and plaster rings, so they're all ready to go, supplied in a pair, in a box, ready for you to just uh, get out and get into the ceiling. So we'll start with the ACS 40. This uses the four inch low frequency drive unit, has a very respectable peak of 109 dB um, over. So we tend to look at our peak levels as six dB over mean. So a lot of manufacturers these days seem to be going for 12 dB. We think six is more realistic. So 109 dB peak, that's uh, 103 continuous with low frequency extension down to 73 Hertz at minus 10 dB. Now, a key thing with this speaker is it has very wide coverage. So 180 degree conical coverage right the way up through the frequency range. So you can use a minimum number of loudspeakers and still get exceptionally even coverage throughout the entire frequency range when you deploy these loudspeakers. They have a shallow back can just 100 millimeters, so they'll fit in the, the smallest of plenums Likewise, the ACS 55 TS. So this is uses the five and a quarter inch low frequency driver. So we get a higher peak SPL of 113 dB, low frequency down to 79 Hertz. But this uses the shallow back can again. So we're talking markets where you have a, a finished ceiling, which doesn't have a lot of depth behind it. Uh, through the plenum into the physical structure of the roof. More and more common these days as buildings become more and more compact. Also in markets, for example, such as cruise ships, where space is at an absolute premium and there just isn't the room behind the loudspeaker for a deep backhand, but you still want great musical quality. And then finally in the range, uh, five and a quarter inch low frequency again, but with the larger back can means that we can now get our low frequency cutoff point at minus 10 dB down to 62 Hertz. Both these two using the five and a quarter inch drive unit have a narrower conical coverage of 150 degrees, still generous enough to mean a very economical application and still getting wide, even frequency response coverage throughout the room. New to us is a pendant loudspeaker. So this uses the same drive units and the baffle looks very similar as the five and a quarter inch low frequency ceiling loudspeaker. And it has many of the same features. The bezel-less grills, very clean look, the onboard multi-tap transformer with low frequency 16 ohm bypass. The 16 ohm low impedance option is great because it means you can actually connect multiples of these loudspeakers onto a low impedance amplifier. Even so, if you're even using low impedance connection, you're still going to get great value for money in your deployment. 
Now the key thing is it may use the same drive units, but we don't tune these the same. It's a different enclosure, different volume. So uh, the cabinet is tuned slightly differently, giving us low frequency down to 56 Hertz here at minus 10 dB. Again, the 150 degrees conical coverage. Great sound quality for environments where there is no finished ceiling. Very common these days, both in bars and restaurants, uh, as well as in retail outlets, in DIY uh, warehouses, that kind of thing. Still want to get quality audio, but we need to be able to suspend the loudspeaker without a finished ceiling present. The on-wall loudspeakers is where the Adorn series started about 12 months ago now. Um, Again, these are available in this case, either with or without the line transformer. Um, an on-wall speaker we reckon is used often low frequency. Uh, it doesn't always need to have the transformer on board. So you have the option of one or the other. Supplied and packed in pairs with their wall brackets. Same things apply, tapping via a rotary switch on the front baffle. So easy access, low impedance bypass again to 16 ohms. Two-way passive as with all the Adorn boxes. And they have protection on board as well. So uh, for those situations, for example, where the loudspeakers are run directly from 100 volt line distributed amplifiers, uh, no processing is required. Don't need any EQ to sound great. And the protection on board separate for high and low frequency means that you know that even if amplifiers are overdriven and speakers are overdriven, they're not going to um, fail on you and you're going to get good return on investment. Equally happy outdoors, there is a, an accessory available for the Adorn series. Uh, IP44 rated connector cover goes on the back to make sure that your connections stay watertight. And they're perfectly happy outside your bars, restaurants, in patio areas, barbecue areas, that sort of thing, bringing the great, great sound quality you've got indoors into your outdoor areas as well. So the range was introduced uh, at ISE this year, the full range adorned the year previously. And this year we won best in show for ISE from ProSound News Europe. But there's great new ceiling speakers and pendant loudspeakers offering this fantastic Martin audio sound quality at a very accessible price point and forming part of a larger family of products, making an easy sonic transition from the likes of the Adorn installation series through to the premium installation offering CDD. CDD has been an incredibly successful range of products for us, the most successful range of installation loudspeakers that we've ever made. It won best in show when it was introduced to Infocom in 2015 and continues to sell and continues to be popular because it's a great sounding, easy to install product. Everything from houses of worship, bars and restaurants through to the main dance floor systems on clubs, uh, theatre sound systems and leisure venues, CDD is perfectly happy in any environment. It looks great and it sounds fantastic. And the secret to this fabulous sound quality is this thing you can see here. This is the coaxial differential dispersion drive unit. This combines the benefits of a true point source coaxial device with that of an asymmetric dispersion pattern, which we call differential dispersion. This means every member of the audience in front of these loudspeakers is going to get even tonal balance wherever they're sitting. Let's take a little look at why that should be. So with a conventional two way loudspeaker system with a separate low and high frequency device, there's a problem in the crossover region. So where the crossover works between the two drive units is not a dead cutoff. So there's a region of frequencies where both drive units are working together. If they're both reproducing the same sound, then the sound from each of the drive units is going to come to your ears at a different time because they're physically separate. That causes a phase cancellation. And this is what a phase cancellation looks like when you plot it as a balloon output. So what we're looking at here is a conventional two way 12 inch loudspeaker and we're looking at it right in the middle of its crossover region at two kilohertz. And you can see these deep knolls above and below the vertical axis of the loudspeaker where the level at that crossover point is significantly attenuated. And that's because of the phase cancellation between the two drivers. Now, if you imagine yourself standing in front of that loudspeaker as you walk towards it or away from it, you're going to get drop off or increase in level depending on your location in front of the loudspeaker. This happens across all the crossover regions. So it means wherever you're standing, you're going to get a different sound quality. The tonal balance is going to shift. With a coaxial drive unit, that problem goes away because both drive units are in the same location. So the arrival times from the two drivers to your ear are the same. 
no phase cancellation. So we have this lovely smooth balloon plot you can see here. We don't get these drop offs through the crossover region. It's altogether smoother response and a far more integrated sound. The problem traditionally with coaxial drive units has always been that as you move up the frequency range, the coverage angle narrows. You can see that here. So down the center of the graph, that's zero degrees on axis of the loudspeaker. Above is off to the left and below is off to the right of the speaker. We're looking at four kilohertz and above and color is showing a sound pressure level. So you can see that as we go up in frequency, the coverage angle is narrowing. So when you stand on axis of the loudspeaker, you get the full frequency range. But as you move off axis, you're losing all the definition and all the clarity of the mids and highs. With the advanced waveguides we use in CDD, that's the static waveguide through the pole piece of the magnet and the waveguides on the cone itself, we take control of that range of frequencies and we can then get them going exactly where we want, making sure everybody's getting the same sonic signature wherever they're sitting. Now we choose to make where they go to be an asymmetric dispersion pattern. And this is why when you take a conventional X by Y loudspeaker, mount it up on the wall, as in the example here, you get this distinct strong hotspot in front of the loudspeaker. Our mid and top drops off as we get to the back of the room and to the sides of the loudspeaker, these cold points where you can hear very little, where you're losing all the definition and clarity of the sound. So wherever you stand, there's a different tonal balance, a different frequency response. By using an asymmetric dispersion pattern that we call differential dispersion, it means we have wider coverage at the bottom of the vertical pattern of the speaker. In the case of CDD, that'll be 110, 120 degrees at the bottom and 70 at the top of the vertical pattern. That means we're wide coverage in the near field, but we're projecting our upper mids and highs strongly to the back of the room through the narrower channel at the top of the vertical dispersion. As you can see on the plots here, we get an almost rectangular area of, area of coverage. Obviously, we get an SPL drop off. The frequency range changes very little and the sonic signature stays pretty much the same anywhere within the coverage of that loudspeaker. CDD has a loudspeaker for pretty much every application, as we've already mentioned, from bars and restaurants through to main nightclub dance floor systems. There's a five and six inch device. They both have a soft dome tweeter in the center of the low frequency cone with the waveguide in front of them to change this to achieve this differential dispersion characteristic. And they really do work. They'll project voice right out into the room, stunning little boxes. The eight inch, 10 inch, 12 and 15 all use a compression driver. The diaphragm is behind the low frequency device venting through the pole piece and out onto the cone. So there's one for every application, including those out of doors. So there are CDD weatherized, a complete range uh, for use in applications such as patios and bars, as we've already seen with the Dawn, but there is now a complete marine version as well. So in the marine version, we use high grade stainless steels. We use four layer weatherproof grills, stainless steel fixings and weatherproof connections. That means they're suitable for use in areas such as beach bars or on the open decks of cruise ships, still retaining a good lifespan while sounding great in any application. There's a complete range of subs as well as Don, uh, James sorry, has already mentioned. You can choose pretty much any sub you like to suit your project through the SX sub range. So great style, great sound quality, wide, even coverage and even frequency response throughout an audience space. These are the key factors that make CDD such a successful proposition for installation marketplace. We're moving on now from the installation space uh, to some multi-purpose loudspeakers, passive portable loudspeakers that can also be used in an installation environment. And we're going to start talking about Blackline X. Now the Blackline name has been going since the late 1990s. This is the third generation of Blackline products. Blackline X was introduced in 2017 and the goal with it was to retain Martin Audio's signature sound quality that the Blackline range was always famous for but do it at a lower price point. The guys in R&D came up trumps and managed to do that. And we have a great sounding range of loudspeakers, which can be used in pretty much any application. So from corporate work as portable loudspeakers through permanent installations in hospitality bars and restaurants uh, for mobile DJs, for gigging bands, this is a great solution, giving fantastic sound quality in a rugged system, which will last you for years and has a five year warranty. 
There are four loudspeakers in the range, the eight and 10 inch low frequency devices. They are partnered with a 90 by 50 constant directivity horn and the um, 12 and the 15, that horn becomes 80 by 50, anticipating that the larger loudspeakers will be expected to throw a greater distance. You'll see that all the cabinets have M8 fly points on them and there's a range of mounting hardware for permanent installation. And they also have nice, easy to use handles on the boxes, which makes deploying them as a portable product very easy. But having them on the back of the box means we retain a clean look of the loudspeakers when they're permanently installed. The handles make it very easy to lift the speakers up onto a speaker stand for portable applications. But in the bottom where the stand mount is, they are supplied with uh, a blind gland over the hole and there's no nasty metal work there visible. So even when it's installed, it still looks good, but it's equally useful when it's being uh, deployed as a portable loudspeaker. There's a range of subwoofers to go with them. Uh, there's a single 15, single 18, and there is a brand new double 18. Of course, you can select from the SX range as well if they suit your application better. Worth having a word about the X218, though this is a new product. It's a stunning dual 18 inch sub, really shifts some air, powerful and punchy and a really good complement to the Blackline X range. You can see that all the subs have pole mounts on top to make deployment sub and satellite very easy from the single 15 and single 18. And you can see it also here on the twin 18 when you deploy it vertically or in portrait, uh, put the pole in the top, mount your loudspeaker or top speaker on top of that. So in summary, Blackline X gives exceptional sound quality at its price point. The systems are built to last, they're great quality, bringing Martin Audio signature sound to a very accessible price point, whether that's for installation or portable use. But when we need a premium point source device, that's when we look to XD. So there are two cabinets in the XD range, two-way loudspeakers using premium quality drive units to give exceptional performance and sound quality. So these would be used uh, as infills for larger touring systems. They're great on their own combined with a subwoofer for live sound reinforcement. Uh, they're used a lot in the theatres, theatre tours, corporate events and in houses of worship. The advantage over Blackline X, well, you can see to start with, they're 3 dB louder. They use high quality drive, un high quality drive units with near dimming magnets, so we keep the weight to an absolute minimum. Like Black Line X, though, they are equally happy to be used as a wedge monitor, so a true multi-purpose loudspeaker. And again, they have the mounting points all over the cabinets, so they can be used for installation as a, a portable system, as they have touring grade cabinets, or they can be used as wedge, as a wedge, a true all-round loudspeaker that sounds fantastic and gives great return on investment. We have a range of mounting hardware to go with the XD series from Yokes. Uh, to uh, variable angle stand mounts and of course as you can see here they do have a top hat built in when you want to mount them on a stand individually at a straight upright angle. So in summary again we're looking at 80 degree by 50 degree horns with the devices here so constant directivity horns uh, on the mid high section 15 inch or low frequency or 12 inch low frequency drivers they're switchable, passive or biamp, so you can use the internal crossovers or they can be run off uh, dual amplifier channels for the maximum in deployment, maximum level in deployment. So moving on from passive now to the powered versions. <clears throat> Excuse me slurping on the water here, folks. All this talking gives one a dry throat. Uh, so we're going to start having a look at the Blackline X powered. So Blackline X take powered take uh, very successful Blackline X loudspeakers, puts all the amplifiers and processing you need in the back of the box for a very compact, complete sound system solution. There are two models in the range. There's a 12 inch version and 15, and they're accompanied by the single 18 sub. All of them have the same power amplifier module in the back, and they're suitable for pretty much any application. They're great for installations when you don't have room to put an amplifier rack, but as a portable system, it means your entire sound system is in the back of a car with no need for amplifier racks or processing because it's all in the back of the box. So you can come straight out of your console, straight into the speakers, or as you'll see, you can actually plug your mics straight into the rear. Again, 80 by 50 constant directivity horns, 12 inch or 15 inch, and they can be deployed on stands, permanently installed, 
uh, or they can be used as stage monitors, as you can see here. And also you can see still we've retained all the fly points and the bracket mounting points on the cabinets for installation applications. This versatility means uh, you're going to maximize your return on investment. It means from a portable point of view, you can deploy them in multiple different fashions on their own or with subwoofers. And as an installation solution, we have a wide range of hardware for them. And again, we have the same clean looks as Blackline X when you install these loudspeakers. So in the back of the box, what do we have? Well, there is a three input mixer with DSP access via this rotary control you can see on the right hand side there next to the LCD display. Two inputs are on XLRs combined with jacks. So they'll take everything from a microphone through guitars right the way through to the line output of your console or DJ mixer. The third input is Bluetooth and two of these can be paired up in stereo for Bluetooth reproduction very easily. The mix out is there available to move on to daisy chain to other cabinets or to link out down to the new subwoofer. There are a range of presets on board, so you can select from standard PA use, use with a subwoofer where it brings in a high pass filter or a separate voicing for use as a stage monitors. Now stage monitors need a different tonal balance to a main PA loudspeaker. We're looking for different things from a monitor. We need a bit more vocal cuts and presence on the stage so the performers can hear exactly what's going on rather than the smooth hi-fi response that we'd look for more from our front of house PA. The DSP feeds into two power amplifier channels. So the DSP is also a two-way crossover, 24 dB per octave filters into separate amplifiers for the low and high frequency sections. So full protection to make sure that your drivers have a good long life and the power amp itself has power factor correction. This means that it smooths the power draw from your power supply, making it uh, an easy customer to have plugged into the mains and is extremely stable even when you're running from maybe the dodgy generator supply in a wedding marquee. They'll run from 100 volts to 240 quite happily, auto sensing with no need for you to change anything in the back of the box. Not only can they be controlled from the back, but from this summer, an app will be available for iPad and iPhone, which will allow you to not only stream stereo audio to your Black Line X, but also to take control of a pair of cabinets. And all the features that are available on the rear of the box are available from the app, making remote control nice and easy. So that's the Blackline X Powered Series, a great solution when you want fantastic sound quality with a very easy deployment. Two full range boxes accompanied by a great sounding single 18 powered sub, Bluetooth control and, um, and audio streaming available on the range, tough cabinets ready to go out on the road, but equally happy to be installed with all the necessary fixtures on the cabinets. But moving up a bracket, uh, the premium offering in powered portable is CDD Live. Now, CDD Live is another very successful range of loudspeakers comprising an 8 inch, 12 inch or 15 inch CDD drive unit in a tour grade enclosure partnered with a pair of subwoofers, single 18 or double 18. So they take the CDD drive unit that we've already discussed in uh, our installation CDD loudspeakers, put it into this tour grade cabinet and in the back of the box goes two power amplifier channels and a digital signal processor. Now the DSP is obviously taking care of driver protection and is the active crossover between the low and high frequency sections, all of which is now optimized to the CDD drive units to get even greater performance from it. But you also have access to this DSP and on board, you have parametric EQ, delay settings, individual level, all done through our ViewNet control platform. Now you can do this box by box or you can gang them together across the network and control groups but it's equally happy to be a plug and play system. So you just give it some mains, give it some analog audio into the um, XLR3 connector you can see on the back there, plug it in and away you go. There are presets available on the back panel as you can see from this preset button here. Firstly, you have standalone full range use. Then you have a setting with high pass filter for when you're using it with one of the SXP subwoofers. And the third again is a discrete voicing for use as a stage monitor. The fourth preset is available for you to store 
uh, your e preferred EQ curve in. So when you've got the system on a network, you can store the settings that you use into the back of the speaker so that next time you can just recall them at the press of a button. Now we have a network, so what else can we do with that? Well, we might as well send some audio down it. So all the CDD range and the SXP uh, talk Dante, so you can send audio straight down the same network as your control system. This means a very simple, straightforward setup. Uh, from a portable point of view, it's particularly easy because you can take Dante straight out of your digital console through a network into your loudspeakers with no intervening processing or amplifier racks to carry around, put in the back of the van uh, or deal with. So it makes deploying the system much quicker, much simpler, and you don't need quite such a big vehicle. From an installation point of view, it makes life very easy. You haven't got to find anywhere to put your amplifier racks. You haven't got to find anywhere to put processors. You just need to get power and data to the loudspeakers wherever you put them. Like all of our point source products, powered or passive, it's a very flexible product. We try to get maximum usability from all of our loudspeakers. So again, CDD Live can be toured and there's a range of uh, flying hardware, as you can see there. There are M8 mounting points on the cabinets again, as you can see from the pictures. And they can be stand mounted, they can be flown, a very versatile system with fantastic sound quality and great ease of deployment by virtue of having all the processing in the back of the box. Another award winner for us back in 2017, Pro Sound Web and Live Sound International award winner, stunning sounding product, all ready to go from 8, 12 and 15 and the two matching powered subs. Subs, of course, also have the Dante and the network control and they have presets on board. Interestingly, they also have presets on board for cardioid deployment. So you can take two cabinets, invert one on top of the other, select a preset, and lo and behold, you have a cardioid sub stack without even having to open up a computer.